I hit the button. A couple of videos. Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> yeah, or Dumberette. Yeah, it's a Dumberette. Yay. Um, and Holiday, right? But they're both just as stupid. Um, oh, it's just, people are just so... Uh, vacant. Just vacant mush. You know, the argument from nature. We're salmon. Let's swim up. We're supposed to swim upstream. You're you're not supposed to sink and have other ambitions. Just swim up the stream, you stupid. Be a fish. Yeah. If we're crocodiles, they'd just be saying, "Don't get sophisticated. Don't do like euthanize your victims first. Don't give them painkillers. Don't do anything to mitigate against your horrific design. No, just be the stupid, dumb crocodile." Ugh, it's just so pathetic. So anyway, this whatever she is, whatever game she's playing, um, hair changer. It's one of those changelings. Yeah. Anyway, um, all right, so she's doing a response to anti-natalism, so she's making a defense of having children, and her defense is preposterous. It's basically, yes, it's natural, and with the special part in there where she just resorts to all the arguments that have something to do with enslaving children to your desire. So you should have them because it'll make you happy, or you desire it, or as a social security policy. You should have children so they can clean up your fucking diarrhea when you're old. So you can enslave your children to your deluded, delusional uh, dementia. You, you can force your children to lie to you when you're some old fart in some nursing home and you can oblige your children to show up there, watch you dying, and placate you with bullshit like Yes, you'll be coming home tomorrow. Or the next day, maybe. And that's dignified. And that's beautiful. I mean, she, her whole description is just a description of absolutely nothing. I mean, she's asking these questions like they're rhetorical. Would you want a world where... Yes, I would want a world where, yes, nobody's in a nursing home shitting their pants. Yes, I want that world. Quite desperately silly person. So someone recently asked me a question. On so it's always someone, someone did this, someone did that. I wish you people would put a name on things so I'm going to jump ahead because who cares? Boring, boring. Bugs, great inventor, were lost when he became a genetic dead end. But actually that's not really necessarily... That's some sort of Tesla argument that somehow this genetic de dead end thing has something to do with. No, it just has to do with the fact that life, you don't win this stupid game. Okay, you just sit here, you hit your peak, and then you just watch yourself deteriorate and, and, and fall the fuck apart until you fucking are driven to being dead. Driven to thinking it's a good idea by disability. Oh, fun, fun. Silly person. Having this in mind, but when you're attracting women, you're trying to attract the maid, and that is geared towards reproduction. So... <clears throat> uh, no, it's geared towards sex. You, I mean, you, you don't even understand that part. You resort to nature, and yet you don't understand that nature didn't give males, especially, any interest whatsoever in fucking kids. It gave them an interest in sticking their penis in a vagina and moving it in and out and creating some sort of, like, friction moment that creates an orgasm. And that's what the man has a desire to do. The no thought in his head when a man is doing this thing with his penis in and out is he thinking about fucking fetuses or babies or children or any of that kind of crap. So, it's just a lie to sit there and say there's some natural connection between sex and reproduction because there, there's no natural connection in sort of any kind of way where I could see the connection. It's a connection that has to do with crude biology and has absolutely nothing to do with either feelings, emotions, or logical thoughts. I certainly can think and I can understand the difference between sex and reproduction. They don't have to have one single thing to do with each other. Nothing. They can have absolutely nothing to do with each other. 
nothing. Just like dinner can have nothing to do with torturing another sentient creature. It's true. <sighs> Dummy. Who's writing it? If it's like to try to justify, like maybe these people really want kids and they're not getting them. So they're trying to like justify it. I think that's like a part of it. Like, oh, yes. Sure, sure. They don't have kids and they really want them. Like you can't just go get a kid any old time you want one. Oh, I mean, there's, you know, all kinds of desperation out there. You can be a foster parent and get actually paid for it. You can get paid to, ha to have kids. <laughs> so, yeah, if you want them, you can have them. But, uh, yeah, so rational people with a life don't need to have something to take care of. They have things to do. They don't need something to monitor their whole life. You're saying that you like your... She says in here one little bit where she talks about, well, I like my quiet time and my private time. I'm kind of introverted. Well, there's none of that when you're a little mummy. Okay, when you're a mummy, you're not going to have any of that anymore. Because your life is their life. Yes. Einstein, yeah. Um, like protozoa, like they're all... Like the only reason we're here is because they had that... Uh, drive to reproduce. Like, I do think it's... Yes, yeah, so what? A drive to... Again, you, again, again, you can keep saying that, but it's just a lie. There's no drive to reproduce, okay? I mean, maybe that's what you're thinking about when you're having sex. You're thinking about making fetuses and taking care of babies, but men, and this man in particular, it never even occurred to me to have any kind of thought of any kind of fetuses while I'm enjoying sexual relations with a woman. Nothing, no connection whatso fucking ever. And as soon as it occurred to human beings how babies are made, they started modifying their behavior to prevent the very thing you're saying they're having sex for. That's not what they're having sex for. They're having sex because it's a pleasurable, um, enjoyable um, activity to engage in. And it has nothing to do with making babies. Nothing. I don't think like living alone in an apartment, super atomized, is the way. Well, again, the alternative is living alone, right? You can't possibly live with another woman and have a vasectomy or learn how to use a condom. Oh, yeah, that's way too complicated. We can land on the moon, but no, people can't learn how to use a condom properly. That's impossible. So they have to live alone and be horribly alone all of their lives and have no sex because they're not making babies. Is that really what you believe? You're really that stupid? Oof. Scary. Oh, give me this healthy crap. There's nothing fucking healthy about having kids, okay? They're stress-provoking. They do a lot of damage to women's bodies, frankly. Uh, and uh, they're just likely to get you killed. <laughs> it's, it's a simple truth. You're not going to live any, any better or longer just the truth oh people are super against like solitary confinement it's because it's so horrible like i don't think human yeah yeah well whatever that's that's again a matter of completely subjective taste okay i'm totally for solitary confinement frankly any if you took any like middle class white to collar criminal and gave him a choice solitary confinement or you get to play wrestle games with the lunatics in the general population of the prison and listen to them rambling and bambling all day fucking long with all this drama and noise. Here you can have a quiet reading room and some books, or you can listen to all that fucking chaos all day. Guess what? I think a lot of people would say, yeah, give me solitary confinement. Give me a good book. All right, in a nice quiet cell, and I'll be goddamn happy. Thank you very much. Human beings suck, and I'm sort of talking about you. Be in periods of solitude for a long time. I think you see when that happens, people go crazy. Like you have this image of like the crazy. Prove it, prove it, prove it. No evidence. This is just complete shit you're just making up. Thank you very much. The only people that go crazy are people who are already crazy. That's why they're in prison. It's because they're dumb motherfuckers. 
Dumb people need other people to give them an agenda. Smart people can do all kinds of thinking and reading and writing and research. They can do all kinds of things inside of their mind. Albert Einstein wouldn't have any problem at all in solitary confinement. You're just alone. You have no one to share with. Like, it sounds really unfulfilling. Really. Again, you, you keep saying shit like that. And what? It, where is the evidence of that? Where is this no one to share it with? You're not able to... If you don't have kids, you can't make friends. And you certainly can't have anything called a lover. That's the truth? <laughs> yeah, right. Sorry, I think you're a liar. Unless you're like a psychopath. Yeah, I don't think uh, you have to be a psychopath to realize that most human beings are fucking imbeciles and they're not going to give you anything but maybe a cold. They're just germ-carrying fucking blighty pieces of shit that are only going to hang... They're only probably hanging around because they think you might drop a dollar bill on the sidewalk that they can pick up. Yeah. And kids love you in what kind of way? Anything honest in it? It's a forced goddamn march. I'm going to feel good because my kid is essentially been forcibly addicted to me and my customs. And that's going to somehow make me feel like a hero? No, it's going to make me feel like a fucking scumbag. And if you take the job at all seriously, as I've said a zillion times, the idea of creating another conscious being and programming it and deciding what kind of fetishes it's going to have and what kind of obsessions it's going to have and what kind of drama it's going to have in its goddamn life based on every fucking thing you say and goddamn do. You want that pressure, bitch? I don't think you take this at all seriously. If you ever did drop a little farty whatever thing when you're white people out of your white vagina... Um, I just, I just wonder if you were going to take the job seriously at all and realize what you've just goddamn done. And that every misery this thing feels for the rest of its goddamn existence is going to be on you, shit for brain. You want that feel? That's a good feeling? That makes you all gooey and hot? Makes me want to vomit on you. Single, childless people. As the country, as our future becomes more uncertain i don't know if these people are assuming just the welfare state is going to take care of them but uh, again who why why would anybody assume they would want somebody to take care of them that's the last thing that occurred to me in my life that yes i want somebody to be a slave to my diarrhea or to my problems that's, you know, I, th I don't think the Einstein type thoughts in people's heads are, I need somebody to care for me. I need slaves and servants to my needs. No, I think the really smart people are the actualized people in life. It's the last thing they want to do is fucking goddamn be a blight that somebody has to clean up. The last thing they want to do is compromise somebody else's productivity or life or, or pleasure or ruin their vacation with their problems. Only a fucking parasitical monster would think it's a great idea that I'm going to get old and I'm going to have people that are going to fucking compromise their lives and their welfare to fucking spoon feed me or something. Why the fuck would I want to do that to another human being? I wouldn't do it to a fucking dog. But that's what kind of monsters you jerks are. You're just so fucking stupid. Because you had to talk this shit and you haven't thought about it at all. Is that really what you want in life? You want to get old and you want some teenage grandchild of yours to be a slave to your fucking goddamn pustules? What a fucking cunt you are then. I don't want to see that happening. You know, with, with all of the like anti-white propaganda, like all these. Oh, the anti-white prop. What the fuck is that in the middle of this video? The anti-white propaganda. What exactly is the anti-white propaganda? What does that sound like? Oh, you Europeans seem to kill everything that doesn't do exactly what you insist it does, include be its slave. Uh, what is what is anti-white propaganda? What the fuck is that? Where 
is it? I haven't seen any of it. Where is it? Is there any of it in my house? Where is this shit you're talking about, crazy person? Oh. Aging white people without families. I don't know if they're expecting non-whites who hate them. Oh, non-whites who hate them. Well, that's what's happening right now, silly person. So your whole family thing ain't coming to the rescue, is it? All those assholes in the nursing home, you know, they're not all single people. No, they're people with families who shove them the fuck in the nursing home to get them the fuck out of the goddamn way because they're a goddamn pain in the ass. And that's the fact. So why are you playing this game like somehow only single people end up in the fucking nursing home, retard assy? That isn't reality. Not even fucking close to reality. Take care of them. But, you know, in other countries, like in third world countries, like multiple generation households are the norm. The reason a lot of people have children in third world countries is so someone will take you able <clears throat> Right, so and you think that's a rational thought. You think that's something we should admire. I should admire the third world poor scumbags who have kids to be farm implements or to be fucking lottery tickets. Let's have kids, okay? Yes, if three or four of them die and a few of them live miserable, poor lives, it'll be okay because one in ten might get a decent job being an illegal alien in America and send us the money. And that's something I should admire. That's being a great human being. That's being a normal, wonderful family person. A family-friendly person. Then that's something I should admire. No, it's something I should fucking despise and want to fucking puke on. Fucking dumb bitch. It would only take place in the most dire situation, you know. But. Oh, wait, now she's. Wait, I, I gotta play this. This is where she gets on abortion and the right to die. Other thing that I see could see happening in the future would be. I definitely think euthanasia is going to become legal. And right now, you know, we're seeing... All yeah, yeah, right. Right now, we're only seeing people in the most extreme circumstances. Blah, blah. And this would some... It would be just awful, though. It would be just awful if people admitted when they were completely useless. And really, all practical capacity for them to live any kind of functional, inexpensive life was over. I mean, you know... They need a they need a, a wheelchair to get them everywhere, and then they need mechanical arms and you know how far do you take it, and whose life do you tax to provide it? It's stupid. So yeah, it would be nice if we got to a point where people had to actually be a little bit practical and say, yeah, you know what, game the fuck over. Calls for it to be legalized, and it's all—it's always like it would only take place in the most dire situation, you know. But it's kind of a slippery slope. Well, what's the point then? There's no point if you wait till the most dire situation. So I mean, cutting three days off somebody's you know seven month or seven year death is just stupid. My grandfather spent 10 years in the crazy nursing home, okay, not knowing who the fuck he was. 10 fucking goddamn motherfucking years being essentially a potato, a miserable potato. Fuck you, people. Fuck you and your fucking insane values. Fuck you, crazy bitch. Oh, it kind of reminds me of, like, I'm sure when abortion was legalized, it was always, like, this is only going to be someone who's raped. Duh. Uh, I mean, no, not even close to the truth. When it was legalized, people always had abortions for the fucking same reason. It wasn't because they were raped or because any of this other shit. It's because they don't got the money to take care of a kid. They don't want a fucking kid. I'm a fucking hooker. I'm pregnant. Why the fuck should I have a kid? It would be stupid. What am I going to do? Raise her to be a hooker? It's fertilized, it's a fucking zygote, an embryo. Do you understand? You kill, no doubt, sentient pigs. Emotionally uh, complex 
sensitive organisms and you're going to talk to me about your motherfucking worry that too many fetuses have bitten the dust, too many things that have absolutely no identity, no history, no ambitions, no desires, they don't really even know what gravity is yet, and somehow that's the thing you think is important. Kook. Kook. The last resort. But like now we're seeing it being coming a lot more common and just Well, that's not true either, okay? There was like there's always been like for the last 30 years there's been like 2 million abortions in America per year. That's just what it comes out to be. There's not more that be, 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 be. So I think there was more abortions in the past to the fucking goddamn truth. I was like I see stuff all the time about these women. I didn't feel guilty. I shouldn't be shamed for my abortion. So I think, you know... Well, I don't even... Go ahead. Go, go ahead. Does that, does that get you a thrill? You get a thrill somehow that way? Shaming the woman who did the rational thing and didn't subject some poor person to being raised by an asshole who doesn't want to have a kid? Oh, gee, what a horror. Somebody who doesn't want to have children didn't have children. Oh, dear. What a crime. I mean, you really don't think at all, do you? You just spout some kind of tart bullshit, right? Written in what? The Book of Tart? Stupid Tart? Well, that's kind of how this stuff goes. Like, first it's legalized. Yeah, it says the 13-year-old. Yay, brilliant. Your analysis is just incredible. As it's still stigmatized, then eventually it's just stigmatized and then it becomes normalized. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, who stigmatized, stigmatized it in the first place, right? Some fucking fantasy fucking Sasquatch. Sasquatch says it's bad. Don't do it. Who stigmatized it but ignorance? It should have never been stigmatized in the first place. Yes, you care about things that have sentient minds. You don't care about things that don't have sentient minds. Embryos are fucking goddamn nothing more than goddamn big fat bacteria. They don't have no brain. It works. Dumbass. I think a lot of these elderly people in the future without children are going to be euthanizing themselves and we'll horror horror how how's that bad they gracefully exit from a completed existence oh what a terrible thing oh my let's all have a big cry about that one and the fetuses who wants to have that graceful exit thing? That would be just awful. No, you should go down screaming and crying. Fuck, sadistic lunatics. People will be saying this is normal and this is fine. Let them do it because they're unhappy and they should have choice because, you know, choice, individual choice is... Most important thing. Oh, fuck even giving... I don't give a fuck about giving them no choice. I'm saying let reason rule. All right? Unless you have a good reason to say why you should still exist, then yes, you probably shouldn't exist. So as soon as you can't make a good argument defending your fucking stupid cruddy existence, then yes, if you don't want to just gracefully walk out, somebody should walk you out. But is that really the kind of society we want? Yes, yes. Rational society. That's right. Mr. Spock all over the place. That's, that's right. Let's be a little bit logical, a little bit reasonable, a little bit rational, and let's quit making up these silly stories about how we're just salmon, we should swim up the stream, and we shouldn't use our brain to think about doing anything else because nature says swim upstream. Fuck you. A society that doesn't value human life no, it values goddamn sentient life. That's right, not human life. Sentient, feeling creatures. It values the quality of sentient experience. And the idea is not to make slaves, and the idea is not to be cruel, and the idea is not to waste suffering. And it's just a waste of suffering to force some old person who doesn't want to live and doesn't have any use for being a living organism anymore to live. That is just stupid and cruel. 
bitch. Like, maybe the, the answer is not to legalize ways for people to end their misery, but maybe we can prevent some of this misery. Right, families prevent cancer. Have, didn't you all know that? It's like eating broccoli or something. Yes, have a family and that'll prevent cancer. Well, of course, they're going to die of cancer, so it doesn't work. Oh. Brilliant. Have more babies. It'll prevent death. Wait a minute. No, that's right. It guarantees death. <laughs> yeah, that's what it does. Oh, shit. Gee, you're really stupid. Stupid. Really stupid. You're ignorant. You're ignorant. In the first place, like, by encouraging people to form families and... To form them. To form the family out of what? An autistic child. Yes. That's always great, right? Have a couple of kids and then have a nice retarded one. So the other two kids get totally neglected and feel totally used and abused and end up being slaves to the little retarded kid and they all end up in drama hell. Alcoholics and drug addicts. Bravo. Wonderful plan, Frankensteinia. Form relationships so they're not... Well, forming relationships really doesn't have anything to do with procreation. It really doesn't. Lonely. Okay, forcing something to exist at your fucking command, that's not a relationship. And it's certainly not one you'd sit there and say, that's admirable. He forced that child into existence and then forced it to conform to its silly rules and its silly memes and ways of life and turned it into an imbecile. Yes, let's all be smiley about that. What a great idea. I love that idea. Because you're stupid and dumb <laughs> and ignorant. You're ignorant. You're so fucking ignorant. Suicidal and depressed. Ah, uh, prove it, prove it, prove it, prove it. Oh, no, no evidence of any of that stuff. Women drown their babies. Women throw them in toilets. That's how fucking goddamn much that charms the fuck out of them. Oh. In, their, in their old age, maybe they can have a family, maybe they can have a grandchild. Right, and yes, I can have a grandchild who was a slave to my, you know, dirty diapers. That would be so cool. I'll make my grandchild look at my wrinkled ass and wipe it of poo. That'll be so cool. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, that'll be so fucking cool. You pervert. You sick, perverted bitch. God, you pedophile. I think I've heard that's like a really Oh, he, she's heard that. Yeah, where'd you hear that from? Nobody at the nursing home, because they're, they're even as, even as fucktarded and dimensional most of them are, the last thing in the world they'd want you to do is drag their grandchildren in to watch them die. Oh, fuck. No. Yeah, that's why I think people should have children. Gee, that's such a brilliant reason. Have children so they can be a slave to your fucking death. Oh, how cool that is. Yeah. Your illness and death. Your disability and then death. By the age of uh, 60, 60% 60 of people will have some form of disability. Yeah. And I guess, yeah, I think smart people should have children, too, because... If they don't, there won't be any smart people anymore. Oh, is that the only way you can have smart people? And what what is a smart person exactly anyway? I mean, does it really take you really have to have an Einstein IQ to figure out that God is a silly story, that we evolved, that we're feeling organisms, that the other people also feel, that I can't win in playing this game by harming other feeling things. Does it really take that much brains to figure that shit out? And that's really all there is here, you stupid bitch. There's just feeling shit. And you either cause it unnecessarily harm, or you unnecessarily harm it or you don't. 
dummy. So I guess that's that's the Tesla argument. And I guess you can say, I'll be dead, so why do I care? But... <clears throat> yeah, I don't know why I possibly would say that. Oh, I'm not on Earth, therefore there's no sentient organisms on Earth living any kind of trauma or circumstantial welfare importance isn't taking place anymore. So, an earthquake only matters when it happens to me. Tornadoes only matter when they happen to me. You really think there's people that need that? Uh, I mean, that's what you just said. You, 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 who? I mean, when you calculate just how dumb you think the people are who are listening to your video, right? You're, you're thinking people listening to your video really don't understand that consciousness doesn't just exist in their brain. And that it wouldn't be a solution to slavery, let's say, if they, if there was, say there was four billion slaves, the white people were all enslaved by the evil black people, and they freed one white person, and it was you. Then slavery has been solved, because you are free. Is that, you really think somebody's, you really think your audience is dumb enough to believe that? Say, you know, Hoffa Day is, but you know, that's the only one I've found so far. You care about what happens to your children after you're dead? You do, that's pretty heartless. Oh, it's heartless. Well, maybe it's not brainless, though, right? Why are your children more important than the other sentient beings on Earth is the first question I'd ask. But you're not going to be able to care about a goddamn thing when you're dead. So that's just stupid. And exactly how has the average family done anything to provide for their children's death? Most families don't provide for their children's first three years of life. They don't even take care of that business. They barely uh, provide a, a, a decent maturation, let alone prepare at all for taking care of all the other blights and, and dangers that that person is going to face in life. They have no insurance policy protecting them. They have nothing. It comes out retarded. They just go, whoops. My bad, I guess. Well, too fucking bad. <laughs> yeah, it's here, so tough shit. Let's try again. We'll just pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> I don't feel anything. Yeah, you people really are. You really are sick, evil, disgusting. Idiots. But, yeah. I think that's, that's all the reasons I can think of right now. Yeah, so the argument from you're a salmon, and the argument from you can't separate sex from reproduction, and the argument from uh, you'll start letting people gracefully end their life. So we need to have more kids, so... There's no single people. Wait a minute. Having more kids won't prevent single people. It'll just make more people that might end up single. Whoops. I think you made a fucking logical error there. Whoa, yeah. I didn't even... I just noticed that one. Yeah, of all the... the nine, you had 968. Well, now you got 969 errors. Because, yeah, it's a logical error to think people having more kids would create less single people. Anyway, you be stupid. Very, very stupid. Alright, so moving on to the other dumbass. Hothliday, the brainless, fucking retarded, stupid cunt. So just to do the end here, just one of Hothliday's typical, he doesn't say a goddamn thing. This 13 minutes is a complete waste of motherfucking time trying to imply that somehow when I observe that I'm conscious, uh, that somehow that's a subjective observation. It's not verified by tons of evidence and all that rest of that crap. So, you know, and so when I draw certain conclusions about my place in the world and I say something like, okay, I feel there's nothing exceptional about my feeling package, these feeling packages in all these other humans and it's certainly in many of these other sentient animals, that observation is somehow corrupted by my subjectivity and somehow we can all be suspect of whether that's an actual fact and I don't think there's any reason to suspect that those 
that that statement has any factual flaw or any lack of integrity as uh, a well-evidenced fact. Just give it a fuck. He keeps bringing it up and waving it about like I don't know. The extra statement is that the nail in the eye or in Mendham is important to me. No. No, that's not the extra statement. You, you, so, so it's, again, you keep saying like somehow I'm saying, don't you feel it when the nail goes in my eye? Don't you feel the sensation? No, I haven't made that argument, have I? No, my argument is, is if you're intelligent, you recognize that something bad is happening. When you see another sentient creature in trouble, having bad sensation, you recognize that something bad is happening. Now, that can trouble you emotionally or not trouble you emotionally. I don't give a shit whether you have an emotional sadness or you feel bad or any of that shit. I'm just talking about the mere acknowledgement that this is not a good thing. A bad thing is happening. This is a problem in need of a solution. There should not be nail in eye. That's all. I'm not making an argument that you feel anything, shithead. I'm not obliging you to feel anything, shithead. You won't ever quote me as ever saying you should feel something, shithead. No, I've said exactly the opposite. I said I don't give a fuck about empathy or compassion or any of this emotional gibberish. All I care about is acknowledgement of a truth. I'm saying the truth. You have a logical requirement to acknowledge the truth. You know from your personal experience what the experience is. You know it's not a good thing that's happening. You and you label it appropriately. You say a bad thing is happening. Just as bad as it was happening to me, the same badness is happening right over there. That's all I'm saying. You have a logical requirement to accept that as a fact. That's the truth of your circumstance. That's the truth of life on fucking earth. That's the obligation, jackass. It's a logical obligation. Dictated by observable, clearly demonstrable, and absolutely proven beyond reasonable doubt facts. Is important in the universe. Not only does Mendham back his head away from the nail in the eye, but should it make contact, now the world is in trouble. The universe just lost. Uh, again, these aren't my words, right? So these aren't, he's not quoting me. I've never said the universe is in trouble. What I've clearly stated is something bad is happening in the universe, okay? The universe is now in a degraded state. It is in a lesser condition. That's all. A piece of negative value has now been put. A piece of bad apple has been put in the pie. Rotten, stinking, worm-infested, poisonous, toxic apple has been put in the pie. That's all. So just keep lying some more, jackass. This isn't my argument you're arguing with. And I've made my argument this way to you over and over and over again, where I've explicitly and in detail itemized it and said, quote me, you liar. Quote me, you fucking goddamn liar. And you won't do that. You'll just keep misquoting me because you're a straw manning, lying scumbag who has no integrity. You have no intellectual integrity because you continue to do this dishonest thing and I've already called you on this dishonest behavior and you keep doing it. So you obviously have no fucking integrity. Something. I lost something. Not only he. And... Again, never have I said any such thing that you lose a motherfucking thing. Never, ever, ever, ever did I say, ever say any such fucking thing, you lying scum. This is from his idea, his mental projection of the importance of it. And this is so... I understand what the mental projection is. The mental projection is conceding to the logically necessary... Uh, obligation to sit there and accept the fact that there's no rational reason to deny the existence of the other sentient beings on planet Earth. Yes, I can deny the existence of video images. I can deny the images in a cartoon strip. I can deny Bazooka Joe. 
but I can't deny that other sentient beings who got here the same way I goddamn got here, who are doing the same thing I'm doing in every respect, I have absolutely not one shred of evidence to believe they are fake or phony or not real, that they have sentient brains that are having sentient experiences, and those experiences are just as meaningful as my experiences. They are just as valuable as a thing happening in the universe. This additional aspect is what is resisted, or at least said. Give right, right, right. This additional aspect that I didn't claim, this silly thing that somehow I am obligating him to feel something. No, I'm not, jackass. Something more to under to uh, drive you for such. I, I don't know how anybody really rational can't possibly wouldn't, wouldn't end up manifesting feelings. I'm just saying that once you acknowledge that some other sentient being uh, just as worthy, just as meritorious, just as substantial, just as real in its feelings as you is now being crushed by an earthquake and you're watching it happen, how that wouldn't create some sort of emotional feeling inside of you just out of the fact that you just have the thought in your brain saying, what if that was me? That it should conjure up some notion of fear fear, some notion of humility and vulnerability, you would think that would happen. Uh, the fact that it doesn't for you is just is another piece of evidence of why you're probably a psychotic lunatic. I mean, you should be able to get there just by pure logic, but I'm just saying that most people don't need pure logic to get there because there happens to be a, a, a logical connection, a relationship between some most of our emotions and some sort of reason they exist. Our emotions exist because it usually correlates to something sensible and reasonable in terms of a pragmatic, practical thing. And so those emotions will end up being sensible. It's sensible that it hurts you to watch your sister get raped and murdered. It's just sensible. Other than your own personal testimony, I think that's where he he invents the principle that... Yeah, again, I didn't say any of the shit he just said I said. So, that's his invention. You're a lying piece of shit. Liar, well, liar, bad liar. bad for me, bad for you. Same as... No, again, not bad for you. No such thing has ever been said. It's not bad for you. Just conceding it's bad. Period. That's all I've said. It happens to me, it's bad. It happens to them, it's bad the end of the sentence, it's a bad thing happening in the universe. Happens to me, bad thing happening in the universe. Happens to them, bad thing happening in the universe. Nothing else being said. Nothing whatsoever. Liar. And it's kind of maybe based on a, a philosophical principle that, which again is, is just asserted because of his own is that uh, he has just asserted that, yes, I'm not stupid enough to think my consciousness is special. Yes, that's my assertion. I have recognized that I don't have special double consciousness. Yes. I think that's a reasonable assertion. I think the evidence supports that assertion. I don't think there's one shred of evidence supporting any other conclusion. The idea of ethics and philosophy is to reduce badness. Well, again, that's begging the question. No, I, I don't give a fuck what your notions of ethics and philosophy are. I'm just stating a simple question, a point, that I know there's good and bad in the, in the world, and I know, logically, the idea is to get rid of bad and create more good. Okay, that's efficiency. So once you've established the idea of a positive and a negative, a good and a bad, the, the bad is a, the negative uh, uh, condition, the eradicatable condition, the condition that needs to be eliminated, and the good is the condition that needs to be preserved. And that's all there is. There is nothing else, jackass. There's that simple math. To be a profitable, you must have a positive number. That's what you have to have, a positive number. You can't have a negative product and then be profitable. It's not possible. If the idea of ethics is to treat same same, that's begging the question. No, no, it isn't. That the, the, it's not the purpose of ethics. Again, so that's another lie. My only argument is, is there's no logical reason not to treat same same. Not that it has anything at all to do with necessarily ethics, but it has to do with goddamn logic, shithead. That's not an ethical code. 
It's a statement of fact. You can't justify treating same differently because then same aren't the same. They're no longer the same if you treat them differently. So you've made them different by not treating them the same. And now you've made them different arbitrarily. That's my argument, jackass. You can't make same things different for an arbitrary reason. You have to have a justification to do that. Dumb ass. You invented the not the same difference. You're the one inventing it. Where is your justification to make it different? It's not a truth for a pure reason. Uh, Says you with no evidence. Okay. Get on with some maths videos. Whatever. I wish you English twats would figure out how to say math correctly. <laughs> Maths. It's not a plural. It really isn't. It's just not. <sighs> Maths. <laughs> I just, I don't know. It's, wait, why don't you call it physicses? And then you can call it chemistry ZZZs. And then you call it biology ZZZs. Creepy. Anyway, it doesn't matter. All right, so this is a video. So, stupid imbeciles. Creepy, stupid imbeciles. Fucking title. All right, so until next time. Such.